here is Pet and Pet's Double Decker Pet Stroller. And I'm going to show you how to remove the material so you can put it in a machine wash bag and wash it in the washing machine. But remember, when you dry it, you have to air dry it, otherwise the mesh will get damaged in the heat. So first things first, I wanna let you guys know the material on the top does not remove because it is attached to this canopy right here. The good thing about the top part is there is a zipper. You unzip it and you could actually remove the pee pad on the inside. And what you could do is you take this out. This board is so wonderful. If your pets accidentally pee on the pee pee board or pee in it, you could use our instant odor eliminator as well as our multi-purpose odor eliminator to spray it and wipe it down so it neutralizes the odor and kills the bacteria odor. You could throw this in the machine wash bag and put it in the washing machine. Also, when you dry this, air dry this or line dry it, instead of putting it in the dryer because the heat will damage the mesh. There is a hole in here, a patented pee pad insert, where you can insert a pee pad so when it gets messy in here, the pee pad will absorb the liquid and you can go ahead and toss this in the washing machine. And once it's dried and ready to go, you just put this board back inside and it slips right on. And there you go. And you just go ahead and put this inside. Now to show you how to remove the bottom, I'm going to take this off just so I have more space to show you the bottom. Just so you could see clearly how I remove the bottom part. As you can see, I could detach this, but I'm still unable to remove the fabric on the canopy over here. The top compartment does not detach. But as you can see, when you detach it, you can still easily clean it. You can take off the pad where it's soft and you can scrub it, wash it, and still easily clean it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it like that so I give you more room to see how I detach the bottom. Now, first things first, I will unzip the top. It only zips halfway just so your pets are really safe in there. Remove the mat. This mat also has a pee pad insert, so you can put a pee pad in here where it absorbs the liquid and the messes, and you can take out the pee pad easily, toss that, open this, remove it off the board, spray it with our odor eliminator. It'll kill the bacteria odor and make it smell clean, fresh, and brand new. And you can also put this in the washing machine bag as well and air dry it or line dry it. And remember not to put it in the dryer because the heat will damage the mesh. This is also quality mesh. What makes it quality is your cats or your pets may have long nails and it's more scratch resistance than other meshes. Now you put the board inside. I'll put the bottom support board with a patented pee pad insert to the side while I remove the bottom compartment. Over here in the back, you see there are buttons here. You just open that and here on the side as well. And I would turn it on its side. Over here, you'll see that there is a button where you have to push in. I'll take this pen and then I'll push it down on the silver button and then pull out and there you go. Now it's out. And I'll go ahead and do the same for this side. You see that button? Push it down, pull it out. This here was the bottom compartment, as you can see here. The bar is still inside. What I'll do is I'll take the bar out like this. I'll place it on the stroller just so I don't misplace it later. And now it's a soft material. What's left are the leashes in here. The leashes are attached to this loop that's sewn into the compartment. And there's also two leashes in here just in case you put multiple pets on the bottom compartment or you want extra safety and security for your one pet. And here are the adjustable leashes. I'll go ahead and put it in the cup holders so I don't lose my leashes. The next thing I'll do before I throw this in the washing machine is I'm going to zip up the top. You must put this in a washing machine bag. 
a delicate bag because it'll actually protect the material when it's in a washing machine bag, a wash bag. Make sure you do not put this in the dryer because the heat from the dryer will damage the mesh. To put the bottom compartment back onto the double-decker, I'll first unzip this just so the bar could easily slip in. I'll take this bar, put it through this hole right here, and right through it goes. And I'll go ahead and put these two bars back inside here. So in order to put these bars inside, you have to push these silver buttons here before you put them inside. I line the bars up here like this, as you can see in the hole. And I'll go ahead and push the side button to insert it in. There you go. And the next thing you'll do is take this part in the back, open it back up, put it over, line up the buttons. If you think it's easier, what I'll do is I'll put my hand through the back, line up the buttons here in the back, from the inside, snap it in place, put the strap down over here too, over here on the side, there is one more, line up the button, put my hand through the front, and there you go. So what I have is my supporting board, I'll go ahead and put that inside the bottom compartment, I'll take my leashes, put them in the loops that are sewn into the bottom compartment. Up. Same thing goes for the top. I'll button that up and that. And you have buttons on this side over here. Put that on. Button it up. Over here on the other side. Button it up. As you can see, the quality of the buttons to the mesh to the stroller is impeccable. It's very durable, very sturdy. You can ensure that your pets are really safe in Pet and Pets Double Decker Pet Stroller. And that, my friends, is how you keep your double decker clean. Thank you for watching!